Give us the big finale, right, Joe? Oh, Welcome, everybody, to the APDL Emerald League Week 2. Now, we are up against a longtime rival and friend, Peyton, a.k.a. Mr. Measley, coach of the Sue Topless City Septiles. So let's get right on into the team. Up first for who we're bringing against the Septiles is Tornadus. Now, figured that we could use Tornadus here as a nice utility pivot, especially with that maxed out speed to outspeed their Alolan Raichu. Now, Taunt is also a very useful ability to hopefully dissuade any setup or status moves from the likes of these Pokemon. And finally, we got Bleak Wind Storm and Dark Pulse to have great coverage across his team and U-Turn to pivot out. Next up is Weezing Galar. Now we have a more specially defensive set in mind with emphasis on Toxic Spikes. Now, Haunter is the only poison type on his team, but with the ability Levitate, it's not grounded, meaning that Toxic Spikes are basically free. Shadow Ball is there to, of course, pick off the Haunter, as well as other threats like Raichu and Bronzong, and chip them down. Strange Theme, of course. And finally, the secret tech is Destiny Bond and Custat Berry to hopefully catch him off guard and knock out one of his big threat. After Weezing, we got Vikavolt, and we are bringing a bulkier set with Assault Vest this week. Now we're rocking Bug Buzz to make sure we can blow through the likes of Raichu and Superior, as well as we're bringing Flash Cannon to hopefully chip away at Comfy and Glaceon before Terra. Of course, we have Volt Switch for that great pivot potential, as well as Charge Beam to hopefully catch them off guard and start setting up on our own. Next up is Mabostiff. Now figured we had to bring Mabostiff against Peyton as he used him last season, so thought it would be kind of cool to bring his Pokemon against him. We have Stakeout as the ability to deal massive damage and Expert Belt to boost the damage even further. We have Psychic Fangs here to hopefully break through any screen to decide to set up with Raichu or Superior. And we have Trailblaze, maybe catch for Alligator on the Switch with Stakeout and also just grab ourselves a nice speed boost. Second to last is Choice Scarf Hoopa. We needed that big punch and figured Hoopa could do the deed. We have Shadow Ball here to break through Bronzong, Raichu, and Haunter, absolutely blowing these Pokemon up. As well, Focus Blast, just in case we catch Scrafty, Glaceon, or Ambipom on the Switch. And we have Psychic and Thunderbolt to round out the moveset, which provides some really good coverage and deal massive damage. Last but not least is Choice Band Entei. Now, with an adamant nature and max attack, this thing is going to hit hard. We have Inner Focus as the ability to block Intimidate from Scrafty, as well as any flinches from Ambipom's Fake Out. We have Don't Edge to obliterate Talon Flame. And finally, Extreme Speeds here as a nice insurance measure in case we have a Dragon Dancing for Alligator or a plus six leaf storming contrary superior getting out of control. Hopefully we can use extreme speed as a way of countering any sweepers that have gone too far out of control. So that is our team for week two of the APDL Emerald League. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and please, if you haven't done so already, feel free to like the video, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications for any future Pokemon content. Let's hop right into the game. So it turns out I didn't actually have my mic working for the first bit of the game. So here is a little bit of me talking over what I think I would have been talking about during the game. Don't worry, it's not for too long. Okay, let's go in. Okay, so looking at his team, we're gonna start off with our Tornadus as he's the pivot. You know, a lot of, we're not seeing Scrafty, which is interesting, or Glaceon, which is like a thank goodness moment. So that was like a, whew, let's go. Okay, so we're loading up and we're, we're feeling pretty nervous. We're, uh, you know, we're giving all the Johns. We're saying how much we didn't prep and how much we, uh, you know, don't like the team, you know, the classic stuff. 
Okay, but he sends out Steve Irwin, the Feraligator, right away. So here, looking at me, looking at things. I don't want this thing to start just setting up Dragon Dances, so I really debate the taunt. But then I'm thinking, hmm, maybe I can just start off with a quick U-turn and go from there, as I'm expecting to be faster than this, unless it's Scarfed. So we can just go into a defensive option right away. As you can see, I'm sort of looking trying to see who would be a good fit for that swap and we end up going for the u-turn after much deliberation and we find out right off the bat we got a choice scarf or alligator on our hands and a sheer force one at that so we get a little bit of chip with u-turn but already we're below half and scarf for alligator putting in work so you know, our most defensive option that we have that wants to take this is our Weezing. So we're just going to go into that. Maybe we can catch it off guard with a uh, cussed up area and stuff, but set up some toxic spikes, kind of go from there, you know? So in come the chemical bros. We're hanging out and yeah. So he doesn't want to stay in, I'm just assuming, but this gives us a nice free chance to set up toxic spikes as again, he doesn't have a ground and poison type. so. This is pretty free to do. So he withdraws and he sends out Hang Ten, the Raichu, goaded name, goaded mod. Now we get the toxic spikes up, which is huge. But now we're gonna see what's going on. He, of course, you know, Measley he likes to change things up. He doesn't like to go with the norm, and so we're kind of debating what we want to do here. You know, we are especially defensive, but if this thing ends up being a choice spec set, we're just gonna straight up die, and then our cussed up berry strat doesn't really work. So we debate going for like a shadow ball here, just in case we can maybe tank a hit, use the cussed app, go off like that. But we just decide, let's be the most safe in case he has nuzzle, anything like that. We have the assault vest. This is why we brought it. We're gonna just bring in Vikavolt see what we can tank from Raichu as Duracell does come out and he goes for electric terrain which is so cool you see me kind of smiling in the uh, in the video here well you, you don't but just imagine I am so after seeing that we're laughing we're thinking okay that's pretty pretty cool pretty cool but you're not gonna appreciate a bug Dang, buzz didn't have my mic on the whole time that's awkward all right all right all right we're cool we're chilling we're uh we're just gonna there we go okay that's why you check your recording first folks incoming quad resisted move bug buzz haunter Okay, so he's not EV light, I don't think. Or he might be. I'm gonna do it again? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like that should have done more damage. I'm gonna Volt Switch. It might be Eevee Light here, so. We'll see what he does. Nasty plot. Okay, we're just gonna go into. Wow, we got a crit. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I mean. I will go into my choice scarf Hoopa and go from there because according to the calculations we are fast because he did go for a nasty plot now what is the best move objectively hmm shadow ball he could switch in with anything um, I'm just going to go for a Psychic. Let's 
so I think he has to let this thing die. And if he doesn't, then well played. He saved it. Okay, he withdraws. If he goes into Ambipom, smart play, but... Wow. Superior. What the heck was that damage? What is that? Probably Assault Fest has to be. That's like Assault Fest. Okay. Yeah, like, hmm. Um. I'm going to go into Duracell, because I have no idea what this thing's supposed to do. If he's setting up screens, cool, but no, he's a salt fest. He has to be. So he's going to start like rattling off leaf storms or something. I don't know. Like we can tank a lot. We're assault vested. Knock off. Okay. I'm glad I didn't stay in. Holy. Um, electricity disappeared. Okay, well, I mean, this is a pretty free bug buzz, so I'm just going to go for it. Or I could start charge beaming. Mm. Do I get greedy with it? Probably not. Let's get some just good damage. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Alright, so one for one. Um. Okay, knowing that Superior is gone. If I were him, I'd probably go into like Ampipom or something. I could also just go this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go, uh, I'm going to go for the choice band, dude. Just because in case he is Ambipom, we won't get flinched. So that's always nice. I don't know if it's the best play, but we're making it. I could have gone wheezing, but... Okay, he's probably just going to go for damage, which is pretty okay. We'll kill this thing, and then we'll probably have to swap out into Weezing, get off a good old Destiny Bond, and then go from there. So we have not seen the Ambipom or Bronzong yet. With drawing. That was a good double. Liberty? Heatproof? Not Heatproof. Crit. Okay, well that doesn't. Wow. I I'm so sorry, dude. That's not cool. Um. Well, I mean, I'm gonna stay in just because that's the name of the game. But like, my gosh, like, what what are you supposed to do? Unless this thing is like cuss that berry, also, and that's sick. But like, damn, that's that feels bad. So, man. Okay. All right. I don't know what to say. Let's just like. That's just really unfortunate. That's like, that's two crits on my side, which is just not, not good. He has to let this thing die. Like nothing wants to take a choice man in Sacred Fire. Unless he's gonna save this as a sack, go into Lake for Alligator, but I doubt that. So, dang. I mean, we'll take them, but like, yeah. Okay. Okay, Bronzong's down. Bronzong is down. We didn't even get to see its moves, so that just feels bad. Alright, so if I were him, I'd probably go for Alligator. Start from there. And if I'm me, what would I do? I mean, we know it's Choice Scarf, so it's like... Yeah, okay, let's see what we can do if it's like... Let's see what type of calcs we can do here. 
Because he's probably just going to go for the safe. Uh, he's probably just going to go for the safe uh, liquidation. Because, like, why wouldn't you at this point? Choice Scarf. Um, liquidation. That's killing me. I have to withdraw. So what type of damage is uh, Weezing taking? Okay, not bad. Let's do it. We're going to Weezing. We can't stand. We cannot stand. It's a cool shiny though. I like it. Okay. Far from over. Flip turn. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. I didn't even know that thing got flip turn. That's sick. Good job. That was a good play. I want... Okay. I don't know. Is he going to set up electric terrain? Is he putting out ambipom? He might put out ambipom after seeing that damage. Ambipom would kind of hurt. We'll see. I'm going to go for a shadow ball. I think. Okay, we're just gonna go for Strange Steam, actually. Hopefully we can live something. We eat that, barring a crit. Oh, this actually might be good. Because I might be able to live this. And then proc cuss that berry next. Devolt. Ah. You hate to see it. Alright. Alright. Um... Yeah, I think we just go into this guy and you turn. A little U-turn action. If we don't kill, though, that'll be really sad. But we should. You just kind of, you kind of just have to let this go down. And then I guess we just go into, uh, guess we just go into our boss stuff after. Show him his old teammate. See what's up with that. Man, still feel bad about those crits though. Like, they definitely mattered. So, we'll see. We'll see if he can claw his way back. But I, I'm feeling pretty confident right now. Very, feeling very, very confident. Especially now that we have audio. So, um, there you go. Casper. Nice. Alright. Haunter is down. So all we got left is for Alligator, Raichu, and Ambipom. And so... We'll go into the into the boy. Okay, let's see what we can do here. He actually doesn't know if I'm intimidated or not because I didn't get it off. So that might be interesting. Maybe it'll play out in our favor. Gonna go for a U-turn probably. U-turn does a lot of damage. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm just gonna go for crunch, I think. I feel like that's the play. I could have gone for triple axle, damn. Okay. The defense drop, bro. I'm getting so lucky. I'm getting very lucky. Ah, oh, man. Wow, okay. He expected the swap. Okay. We're gonna get big stake out damage on Trailblaze. That's nice. Oh my gosh, that might be it. We got the Trailblaze damage from stake out. Let's go. Okay. The Daug, Ziggy, popping off. Let's go. Um, that was huge. That was huge. I mean, we've... That was a good roll. I don't know. We're... Um, it's just one of those games. It's one of those games that everything everything's kind of going our way. Which, I mean, I am not going to complain because... I mean, I will complain just because... Hoping for that fair game, but like, damn. Peyton's such a good player, so you need all the help you can get. But like, my goodness. Feels bad. Okay, I mean, at this point, I'm just going to Trailblaze again. I mean, our Monk is sort of dead. Okay. Alright. He's just getting that Poison Chip, which is nice. Uh, okay, and now we just go into this guy. We press extreme speed, and then we swap, and then we do other things. One down, one to go. Just the right you left. Ironic, iconic, hang 10. Let's go, baby. He's on a timer. <laughs> Okay, um, I think I'm just gonna go for two extreme speeds. I feel like I'm just gonna kill this thing outright. I don't know if this thing could kill me. Don't know if this thing could kill me. I feel like it can't. No, not even like even with surf. No, I can't. All right, um, we're just gonna extreme speed it twice and go from there. Go from there. Let the poison do its work. Damn. Well, we bounced back. We bounced back. Um, man, I still want to do some team changes, but like, this is a nice little confidence boost, even though it's like a little bit scuffed, but that's okay. T Bolt, trying to get that, that damage. It's very nice. Oh, he's Life Orb, plus the poison. GG's, Measly. Very, very good game. I mean, sorry, sorry, sorry again for the hacks. That was that was tough, but... Hey, it's only second game of the season, and we all got a lot to look forward to. So, GG's again. Always a pleasure playing with you. Sorry again for the hacks, and we'll see y'all in the post game. GG's again, Peyton, and the Sutopolis City Septiles. Super, super fun game. Sorry again for all the hacks. I mean, it's Pokemon, so it happens sometimes, but anyways, we are now one and one, which is super awesome. And now we get to look forward to that record as our week three opponent. We are looking 
is gonna be Verberi and the Watts Dragoons. So that is gonna be super fun as I don't think we've ever played each other in a draft league setting before or at all, which is gonna be fun. So a new opponent, that is always something I look forward to. So thank you all again for watching. Really, really appreciate you all sticking around, watching the video, supporting, commenting, doing all that stuff. And please, 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 if you haven't already, like and subscribe to Mr. Measley and his channel as he's probably going to get a video review of our game as well. And also just check out all the other coaches in this league posting content as you know, it's all fun and it's really, really cool to see people uploading and giving their own style and take on the games that we all play, enjoy and love. So thanks again. Really appreciate you all sticking around and watching as it means a lot. So. Hope y'all have a great day, night, evening, whatever time you're watching this. Hope it's just amazing. And as always, go right to peace, everybody.